10 games unbeaten now at home. What's the secret? <laughs> yeah, the secret, there's no secret. There's always uh, hard work. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think uh, we have improved our game and um, we have more quality. And this is no coincidence when you when you develop a game and you develop players, then, then you have better chances of, of not losing, of winning games. And uh, this is what we have shown in the past. And how's the team looking against Norwich tomorrow night? So far, um, looking good. Uh, Romero is back after his COVID case. And um, so we have only Lianco and Nathan Teller still out and Alex McCarthy. So the rest is is uh, training with the group. And and uh, yeah, I have, uh, I have a big uh, uh, squad where I can select the best possible 11 for me. Of course, just finally, Norwich was uh, Dean Smith, or well, Southampton was Dean Smith's first game as Norwich manager a few months ago. How much have they improved since then, would you say, since he took over? Yeah, we lost against them in this game and uh, it was a tough game for us. Uh, the momentum uh, they had on their side, we had good chances in the first half, must normally win this game, but in the end uh, lost because of conceding two easy goals and uh, yeah. I think uh, he has still a long way to go uh, with this team, but uh, they have shown also in the past games that the performance was much better than the results they have got. So you can see that there is a clear way of playing football, a clear way of how they want to play. And this is, uh, this is um, not, an easy, not, an, not an easy opponent, not an easy game for us. What do you think can still be achieved this season? You look at the league table and you see Southampton mid-table, off the back of this run, what, what do you think is a realistic target between now and the end of the season? Well, it's not really interesting for me, to be honest. I mean, we know the table. We know that uh, Brighton is one point uh, ahead of us. Uh, the next opponent has, uh, I think, seven points more now. So it's it's a, a big way. And this other, we speak then about teams like Tottenham or Arsenal and so on. So. If we can end up in this in this uh, part of the of the table in the end of the season, that means that we have done a good job so far because the clubs behind us have also quality, and they will also take the points. So we have to to consistently perform well, and when we do this, then there's always a chance to stay there where we are at the moment. I know everyone's been talking the last few weeks about the performances against the Manchester clubs and Spurs, but for me, last Saturday was massively important, and and that showed. The progress of the team because you know you, you can be up for the big teams but a match you expected to win against a team struggling is never the same and it, it was ugly in the first half at times and you had to win it a different way how how important was that for you how pleasing was it for you that win yeah, not only for me important also for the team important that we see that uh, the, with the patience and with hard work you can uh, yeah bring this game also on your side and this was important message because we know what teams are coming up now teams on the bottom part of the table but uh, teams that are fighting for their life and uh, this is a not easy uh, yeah, fixture definitely not because you know what you have to expect but and this is a good thing we look very settled and very concentrated uh, Young lads have learned quick. The older ones give you give them a good support. We have a very good atmosphere in the moment in the club and in the team. The sessions are on a very, very high level and uh, maybe the highest since I'm here. We have a very balanced squad with a lot of opportunities on other position. So that automatically rises the quality in the sessions and, and gives, gives me the chance to, to, to select the best possible group.